Okay, so welcome once again to our first discussion. Our objectives for this lesson, first to know when the digital took place and to identify the different types of communication from early times up to the present and to know the role and importance of ICT in different sectors in the society. So let's start by giving the introduction or definition of digital age. So the digital age refers to the time period in which personal computers and other subsequent technologies were introduced to provide users the ability to easily and rapidly transfer information. So digital age is also known as information age, wherein the information are available to the means of computer technology. That's digital age. Now, what is ICT? ICT is the infrastructure and components that enable modern computing. So ICT plays a very significant role in the modern society, especially during this pandemic time. Because through ICT, we can easily communicate others and we can easily give and find information especially uh, the one that we need for our work let's say for business and even for academe now the evolution of communication it is an ongoing process with the advancements of modern technology communication methods have been changing so communication is part of our lives even before, no, since the beginning of time. We use it when we communicate others, when we express ideas, when we read, when we understand things, when we solve problems, when we write, we use different means of communication. Now, what is communication? It is the process of exchanging words, signs, or information with others. It is done through verbal communication or non-verbal communication, meaning it enables us to pass information. And also communication enables us to convey message, to express our opinions, our ideas, our standpoint in life, and our emotions. So there are types of communication. We have verbal and non-verbal communication. For verbal communication, it is also known as spoken communication that includes face-to-face -face interaction or other means like television, radio, and other media also be an example of uh, verbal communication. And take note that verbal communication requires interpersonal skills. So we use our speech in order to understand ideas and to give information to others. So it is being said that through verbal communication, misunderstandings are rare or it can be avoided because we speak and we communicate and we arrange things and we we able to weigh things out because of communication. The next one is nonverbal communication. This type of communication generally involves body language and gestures, so nonverbal does not use words to communicate. Instead, we use our facial expressions and our gestures. Just like when we are happy, of course, it is shown with our face. When we are sad, also anger and fear. We also use our hand language or body language, like when we tap somebody, when we wave our hands. Okay, those are the example of nonverbal communication. Now, the aid of communication, how technology aided communication. So the technology has modified the methods of communication. And every year, new devices are introduced and we use them to communicate, right? So the internet has also made evolution of communication more effectively, especially during this time. So we use um, technology when we call our friends, our family or loved ones. We can send messages through technology. We, we already, uh, we actually use computers, mobile phones, radios, laptops, telephones, and all other means of communication. That's because of technology. 
The next one is, let's proceed to the history of communication, evolution. So let's start with cave paintings. Cave paintings are the oldest form or methods of communication. They were used to mark territories and they are usually found on the walls and ceilings of a cave. So because of this type of communication, the major events in the past were recorded. And also this type of communication serve as symbolic figures for religious functions and other functions in the society. Next is smoke signal. Okay, so smoke signal is one also of the oldest forms of long distance communication and are used to transmit new signal danger or even to gather people to a common area. This type of communication was also used by China where their Chinese guards release smoke into the air and which depict a message, a message to the Great Wall of China. And also this type of communication was used by one of the famous Greek historian where he used smoke to represent the alphabet. The next symbol for communication is carrier pigeons. Pigeons are known well for their directions, so they were known to find their home, even traveling long distances, and people used to attach small letters to their necks, hoping that these pigeons would fly to the receiver. So this type of uh, communication also very effective because of the homing, uh, natural homing abilities of the pigeons. So they were transported actually to destination. And this type of communication was used by ancient Romans. Next, the Marathon Man, the story of the Father Pides inspired the sporting spectacle of Marathon. Why? Because when he ran from the battlefield of Marathon to Athens in order to tell the people that they had won the uh, Battle of Marathon. So it's the ancient method of delivering a message. Then we have postal system. People started to use courier services. Letters were delivered from one person to another to postal services. We also use mailboxes and the delivery letters was done through this type of system. And take that class that until now, there are many postal offices that we can see in different places. And take note that the first uh, postal service created by King Cyrus of Persia in 550 BC. So through post offices or postal offices, uh, we can actually write letters some, to somebody and send it through this type of uh, system. The next one is newspapers. Newspapers are still a wide form of communication used until now and every other household, if they can afford to have it, they will have every day. They will have newspaper every day. And these papers deliver written news and also other important national events like uh, current events. And there were two types, but now actually we also have local, local newspapers. So national, international, and local newspapers. So their types depends upon the news they deliver about. And this type of communication uh, give us information and opinion about news and current events. Next is radios. Our source of news and as well as entertainment for people, especially in the rural area until now, wireless signals were studied and tested in detail. The scientists practice using wireless power to share content and radios are still installed nowadays in mobile phones and car systems. So they were once a very important medium of communication actually until now, aside from computer, laptops or other means of communication. It's also one of the most reliable source of communication. Next is telegraph. The first electrical communication system to send text messages is the telegraph. 
um, telegraphs were introduced to send text messages more quickly than written messages. So it helped in sending information across the country. So this is done by transmitting information by a coded signal over a distance. Then we have telephone, which was introduced by Graham Bell, Alexander Graham Bell in 1876. And until now, this type of communication became uh, an essential part of every household and offices. So the device transmitted human audio into signals and the signals were then transmitted through wires. So landline telephone services began in 1900s. So through this um, type of communication, we could talk to our loved ones or to somebody even long hours. It is one of the most reliable also form of communication. Then we have radio signal communication. In April 7, 1927, the AT&T held the first public demonstration of long distance television transmission. So the first television broadcasting experimentally from 1925 and commercially out from the 1930s. And it is actually the extension of radio to include video signal. So through television, um, the sender can persuade us, can entertain us, and can empower or inform audience. So it is also widely used as mass medium for advertising and for news broadcasting. Then we have the internet-based communication, refers to sharing of information over the internet, like instant messaging or placing calls over the internet. So the internet offers multiple ways of communication like email and through social networking sites. So those are uh, things that we can do through internet. And of course, they are available free of cost. So these are now the top social media platforms. We have Facebook, YouTube, WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, Instagram, WhatsApp, and TikTok as of January of 2021. And because of this internet-based communication, we can easily share photos, share stories, and even updates, uh, give updates or post news. So how ICT impacts the different sectors in the society. So let's start with the health sector. Okay, so through ICT class, it could provide the health system to become more efficient. Let's say to have easy access to patient records, to access to medical information, to have online appointments, especially nowadays that face-to-face -face is limited, to have good database for medical inventory, and to have organized information about individual patients. So it really improved the health system and prevent the medical errors. For education, ICT is very much important because research and resource Resources over the internet are widely available. New ways and style of learning is, yes, very evident nowadays, like what we have right now, the digital learning or the remote learning. We can have synchronous and asynchronous learning because of this ICT. And also remote uh, skills for life, rather, because it ICT could give us a very evident, um, what we call this one, skills like being innovative and creative because of technology. How about for the solution of crimes? The ICT tools such as CCTV camera, right? The technology, the tracking devices could solve the crimes. So media and communications were being used, storage and access information, and ICT could be used for forensic tracing and fraud prevention. How about for communication? ICT plays a very important part in the communication you now from the evolution up to now. So ways of communication using ICT is very evident. Communication using email, uh, messages, what else? Calls because of ICT, very efficient. The easy communication system benefits are also very evident. How about for business? Changing ways of business from the traditional one to online selling and online buying, which is uh, very popular 
these days. Online banking to avoid face-to-face -face transaction. We can do online banking to our phone and also to have organized way of storing files. Okay, so it makes our business more efficient and effective. So that would be all. Thank you so much, everyone.